Hi everyone, I'm Megan Washington. I am a TA in Link Elementary. I've worked there for five years. I've been a social emotional one-to-one. -one. I've been in many different classrooms with behavioral needs and engaging our students is really what we're gonna talk about today. So student engagement and learning activities can be related to behavior, positive feelings and student thinking. How do we do this for our K through third graders? We need to make things meaningful. Make sure students are engaged, connect them through experiences, show them how to use it in real life, ask them to share experience, and motivate them to be successful. Make sure that your students are understanding what is going on throughout the activity. Include feedback to help them. Keep it positive. Positive is key. Welcome student ideas. Let them know that they can come up to you and ask you anything that they need. Give them the time that they need to get the work done. And also let them use art and drawings and labelings in making science fun. The also, another thing you should consider is making positive relationships in your classroom. Show your students that you care about their needs. Use positive feedback for everything that they do. Treat everyone fairly. Don't just pick one student against another. Make sure they know that you're there for them. And then pair them up in groups with other children that they like working with or that are on the same level as them. So when you do that and you make collaborative learning, it lets students help each other. Pair them with groups that you know will work. Model assignments for them. Walk around and help them and encourage a sense of community. When you're doing all of this and you wanna incorporate technology into what you're doing, use your smart board, incorporate videos, use cahoots. I know in my school we use Orbeez, Bebots, Azobots. We just did um, a butterfly example. For example, in my third grade class, we grew butterflies in our classroom. We played videos about the butterfly's life cycle on the smart board. Children journaled about the changes and drew pictures every day in their science notebook. They had to draw the life cycle and program it into an Azobot. The Azobot stopped and did a little dance at each life cycle change. So it looked something like this. These are the Azobots that we used. And the students had to put it on a life cycle that they made. And then it would do a little dance. and continue going around and do different things at each phase of the life cycle. I have to say my students loved adding this technology into it. We used color codes to help. This is everything that helps you code. And they truly took the time to make their butterfly life cycles and label it correctly and make sure that their Ozobot was doing a fun dance. So I hope this helped you and I thank you very much for listening.